With this new location, our exposure is incredible. Day and night, you can see us from I-95. So we're packed with people all day, all night. Uh, it's a tourist destination at this point. I was not in favor of buying the place, but Robin said this is where we need to be, and uh, I have no rights. So here we are. I was on the road buying cars, and I came home, and Robin had done this move without me. <laughs> I, mean, I couldn't do this in a year. She did it in a week and she's moved 320 cars. She's all the office supplies, everything is set up, all the wires, everything. This is the best. I don't miss a beat. I got a phone in my car and I'm on the run. I know what it takes to be number one. And I'll be riding high when the day is done. I'm just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for 40 years. I work here with my beautiful wife, Robin. We make a great team. Some people call it work, but for us, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Yeah. Zip, 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 I am not successful. I can't find anything. UPS stuff. I want to call Alan back. He wants his check. Help me out here. I'm sorry. I'm on the phone with a client. Can you wait one moment? Robin and I have shared offices together for 14 years, right since we met. And uh, it's been incredible. With this new four-acre facility, there is no reason why Ted should not have his own office. Rob, you got a tracking number on that stupid thing for Autoflex? Ted, can you look it up over there? It's over there. Ted is the king of clutter. He never throws anything away. Hold on a second. I need the one that we're sending him. Honey, I'm sorry. I need the one for him. Ted, I'm on the phone. I'm trying to do a million different things. Can you just handle this on your own? This office space is incredibly small. Um, it's extremely claustrophobic. And there's no way we can get anything done. We'll be stepping on each other's toes. This guy Christian called me. He's from the Tampa area. And he has a truck, and he's bringing it over for me to buy it. I don't know him. Uh, seems like a cool guy, very realistic. Hey, Ted. What's going on? Christian, what's up, man? That's a How bad boy. Man? Thank you. How you doing? All Good right. See you, man. Came here to sell my truck, a 1964 Chevy Stepside. This ain't your daddy's uh, Stepside, is it? <laughs> the motor is all brand new. What size motor? It's a 468. I'm going to crank it up. Go ahead. I think it's gonna be a beast. We'll be happy with it. The sound of the motor on the step side was awesome. Well, that eliminates the think? old ladies buying it. Step side pickups are real popular. Young people like them, and pretty much most everyone likes them. But this being the beast that it is, takes a certain kind of buyer. The important question, is what do you take for it? Realistic oh, money. I want twenty-four thousand for it. Twenty-four grand? This truck is worth twelve grand tops. The only way this deal is going to fly is if we make some kind of a trade. Let me tell you exactly how I am with this. All right. I can't buy this for that kind of money. Right. What I can do is trade it with you for a toy you might like, and I wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind owning that fancy trailer you drove in with either. Wouldn't mind owning that. He's got a trailer with a Chevy bow tie on the side of it that's quite nice. So maybe that'll be the way the deal could flow, is if I can get the trailer and the truck and give him a nice car. I want to get something nice that I can enjoy driving and still continue my hobby like I do have, but with something on you or toy. I tend to ease up a bit when wives or girlfriends are around. I wouldn't want to upset the ladies. Some side doors on it to death. Sit in there and Christian, check it out. How do I know you'd like this one? Oh, yeah, I like this one. It's pretty nice. Deer looks real nice. Yeah, it's did a good job. It's a spectacular car. So, what can we do on this? You're thinking, uh, you're thinking your truck and trailer is basically what you're thinking. I think maybe you should come my way about two grand, and I think I'd do the deal. So, we can do just, just the truck for it? Are you crazy? I'm willing to give up the trailer, yes. The deal is right. 
but it's got to make sense. You know, I can't just give it away and take a ten, fifteen thousand dollar hit on this truck. The Lincoln is, uh, you know, a four door suicide door car. They're very, very popular, very collectible. That one's uh, was an NBA player owned it, and he had it really customized, and it's cool. Really, really a nice car. What can we do here? I just happen to like this car. And I like your truck, but it needs. I think two grand is fair. You shake my hand, you own it. Can't do a grand? No? 1,500 bucks, let's finish. Oh, man. Good job. Thanks. Now you're, now you're happy. Yeah, I'm happy now. And now you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with it. I feel good about it. I think it came out pretty good. Something new for me, and it's something new for him. We're known for our classic cars, but we also sell motorcycles. And I love my Harley. Hi, Dion. Yes, yes, the bike is still here. It's the same price, Dion. It's $2,200 to ship to Australia. It's not, it's not a big deal. I'll put you in touch with my shipper, and I'll get the bike over to the shipper and load it into a container immediately. Great, that works. Thanks. I'm the one who put Steve in charge. It was a simple task. He couldn't possibly mess this up. OK, this is it. Please verify the VIN number. I don't want, to, I don't want the wrong bike to leave. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. I drove my bike to work. I gave it to one of the gargoyles to clean. I can't find my bike. Ted went bonkers when he found out his motorcycle was gone. And I don't blame him. He's running around here like a chicken with his head cut off. So, where's my motorcycle? Uh, we've been looking for it, but I think you should talk to Steve about that. I've been looking for it. I'm pissed. I want to go home. I can't find my bike. I'm going to call Robin, because she's got to find out where my damn bike is. Robin, my bike is missing. Ted, come on, relax. Relax. Your bike has got to be there. Check in the showrooms. No one seems to know where it is. I'm serious. My frickin' bike is missing. Give me 10 minutes. I'll be there. I'll get to the bottom of this. All right, bye. Honey, uh, this is not all my mess. Ted, everything is your mess. And the, and the toys and the clutter, you can't put anything away. Your briefcase is wide open. This is after I've cleaned for weeks. Look, it's been 14 years of insanity, and I've had enough with Ted sharing an office space with me. And I'm basically fed up with it, and he's going to his own little corner, his own little space, unique space, whatever space that might be, but it needs to be away from me. We have a brand new location. Let's just make yourself a man cave. <sighs> this is not working out. Finally. What do I do? I need to. Be able to. Not a problem. I'll create the perfect little space for you, the one that fits you just, just perfectly. You gonna put me in a straight jacket now? No, it'll be your own little personal space. I have it all figured out. A little man cave. Pretty good. Perfect man cave. That works. Yeah? All right. Will you visit it periodically? Once in a blue moon. Ted was away. This was my time to work in his man cave. Steve, this is going to be perfect. Beautiful. Okay, and the duck goes right there. Okay. And the dog, I think, put him over there with the other dogs. Beautiful. He's gonna be happy. I did it again. I did it again. again. <laughs> okay. Robin took my Testarossa down to look at a Corvette. That's a long ride for a spaghetti car to take. I don't like those cars, they break a lot. And when they break, they cost a lot of money to fix. My name is Dr. Suarez Menendez. I decided to sell a car now just to uh, move on and get something different. You know, I enjoy uh, sport cars. So look into some other kind of cars, maybe Ferrari. So I went ahead and I contacted Robin and I told her about the unique car that I have to see if we can make some kind of a deal. Lucky for the doctor that I have a buyer already lined up for that vet. Hi, good to see you again. Same here. How are you? Good, good, good. I could spot the shine from a mile away as I pulled in. Really nice. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about it. This is a 427 Corvette. It's really 450 horsepower, not 425. Uh, like I said, a 66 side pipes, knockoff. Well, about 2000 were made. 
Uh, this is very unique. It's like museum quality. It was frame of restoration. So you're sitting at $200,000? Yeah. I mean, if the economy was better, it would be about a quarter mil. I'm at 175. It ain't gonna fly, ain't gonna fly for 175. Okay. If I swing your way a little bit, let's say I'm at 180. Where, where is it? You can. What is it you can do for me? If you're 180, uh, you know, I tell you what. Let's. Do you have a coin? Uh, for we'll what? Flip for it. You flip for that? We'll flip for it. Nah, something that important. I don't flip. How about uh, having a shootout? A what? A shootout. You know, you take guns and you shoot. Can we have a shootout in the, in the range? And whoever does better, we'll go with the price. The doc's in for a surprise. Little does he know, I shoot all the time. Range? You have a range here? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm about 50 feet away. No problem. I'll grab my gun. Oh, yeah, carry a gun? Great. I love a lady with a gun. I like that. I prefer my 45, but I had my 38 with me today. Either way, he's going down. Are you ready, doctor? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Ms. Robbins, let's see what you got. Let's, let's compare my lid at. against your lid. Well, it, look, it looks like you got me oh, by. Gotcha. Yeah, right it looked like you got me uh, just by a bit. So I guess the deal has to go in your way from 185. I guess I got to go for 180. Yeah, you know what? Uh, if we do have another shootout, I, I think I'll, since I have the range of house and I can practice like just about every day, after I practice a little bit, maybe I can beat her and lower some other prices and some other deals we might do in the future. She's pretty, isn't she? Yes, very pretty. So is she. I like the car. Maybe, uh, maybe we can do a little uh, trade here. Well, since we're at 180 on this, so I was able to shoot you in the line of fire. I and see. I'm at 90 here. Why don't we go both ways? We both get what we want. And I basically reverse myself $5,000 and sell it to you for 85. I think that's very fair. All right. So I guess I came in a Ferrari and now I'm leaving a Corvette. She's well, all yours. I guess you're going to leave in a really American muscle car. Yes. I'm going to stick around with the. Uh, Italian, so what muscle car? I think it works for you. We'll see. Steve? Yes. Remember I gave you the title on the Screaming Eagle? Uh -huh. And to be shipped out to Australia to verify the numbers. Right, exactly. I did that, right? The right yeah. bike? Uh huh. Okay, there's a bike missing Ted's bike. I put the title on the gas tank to show the guys which bike it was. I described it as a black Harley. I said, by the door. Steve. What? It was the Screaming Eagle with the eagle on it. You can't miss it. You, you know it was the Ex Screaming Eagle. I gave you the title, the copy. Yeah, exactly. I verified and I taped it to the, the gas tank. Robin delegated the bike to Steve to make sure it got loaded to go to Australia. The problem with Steve is Steve doesn't work. I was busy at the time. I told John and I told Jermaine, go and get the black Harley with the title on the tank. Oh my God. And bring Steve. it out. So Steve delegated it to Jermaine. Said, Jermaine, send the bike. So Jermaine figured they'd send my bike. You go explain to Ted Vernon what happened to his bike, that you shipped it off to Australia. You better go talk with the guys and figure out a solution. I'm not catching heat for this one. All right. Robin found the bike. It's at the port getting loaded in the container. It almost went to Australia. I stopped it, getting my bike back, and then I'm gonna have them bring the right bike down there at my expense and put it in the container. This isn't rocket science we're dealing with here. Extremely excited. I'm about to meet uh, Dr. Pacheco, which was Muhammad Ali's doctor, and he's bringing in his 1947 Cadillac convertible. I think all day long the car retails for $75,000, so I think I'm going to offer him somewhere around 60 to $65,000. We are talking about know, your black Cadillac that you've I had for many years. You to have it Aww. because I, I, this, is, this is truly, as you can see, it's a beauty, Aww. and you're a beauty, and I think a beauty right. My wife always looked great in this car. I'm Dr. Ferdy Pacheco. I've lived in Miami over 50 years. I've practiced medicine here. I've had a four or five world champions, including Muhammad Ali, fighting out of here. I'm a writer. I have 20, 20 novels done. I have a couple of million dollars worth of paintings done. And outside of that, I've done nothing. The great part about it is it's extremely original. He was the second owner. It's got the flathead V8. Um, it just it, it purrs and drives as it should. Well, I'm absolutely honored that you're here selling your car to us. 
first of all, I, I consider Ted one of the, one of the knowledgeable people about antique cars in, in the country. I know While Dr. Pacheco was being sentimental, my mind was on business. Could I actually get this caddy for 65 grand? I also need to make something on this car, so I need to know where you are with your asking price on this car. I'd like to get 75, but I'm not going to get 75 with it. I would take 65 in a minute, in a heartbeat. Bernie, since you're, you're asking 75000 on, on the automobile, and you've already lowered it down to $65,000 because you're a gentleman, I'm going to go ahead and pay $65,000 for the automobile. I have no reason to haggle with you, but I would be honored if you would paint a little drawing of me. I would do a big drawing of you. I'll paint, you in, the, I'll paint you in the nude. That works. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You don't have to get excited. I'll, I'll put on a pair of pajamas. <laughs> That's a joke. I was really excited to reminisce about my boxing career with Ferdy. Ferdy. <laughs> Oh, thanks a lot. Bertie, <laughs> you saw me fight in the convention center. Tell my wife how, how, how awful, I Awful, awful. <laughs> you know, he wanted to be a boxer. He doesn't say it to many people because a lot of people saw him boxing and realized it was futile. Right off the bat, I said, this, <laughs> this guy's got a big future in the used car business. <laughs> That's great. Right, honey, That's one place I can. $65,000. No, I would You'd take... have taken 60 from you. You have 75. You don't have that, and I have mine. I'll sell you that and a kiss. Okay. That's it. You saw it. I saw it. Okay. I'm upset. After I closed the deal with Dr. Pacheco, he turned to me and he says, Robin, you know what? He's like, can we take one last drive in my 47 Cadillac? And I said, of course. It'd be my honor. I'm going to sell my beauty to that beauty. And we got we got our price, 65. And uh, she could have gotten it for less if she wanted to. A couple more kisses and we're going down. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Okay, Ted, nice to meet you. Ted Vernon. Um, 55 Bird. Is it 55? 55. It has a Continental kit, but it's got a special one and a long one. Right. Which is outrageous. And it's just a beautiful car. How big is the trunk? Can you put golf clubs in there? Uh, yeah. Yeah? You could. I was attracted to the car. Color was nice. The uh, the white walls looked like a fun car. You should be it's able to drive this around town, use it. You don't want to go to California. You want to ride it around town. You want to go to dinner. You want to enjoy yourself. Pretty much, that's what this is for. And you're asking how much? Fifty-eight five. Okay. I'm looking for a little something convertible, maybe in a in a, a lower price range. So. This was a wonderful experience. I thank you very much. Okay. And I'm sure I'm going to be back again. Okay. Have a good day. I'm standing here trying to sell a car, and he's gone. I'm a schmuck. <laughs> I've been out most of the day buying cars. Now that I'm back at the facility, Robin says to me she's got a surprise for me. All right, come on, honey. I want to show you something. You're going to be excited. I'm going to be excited. I'm excited looking at you. Wait. Take a deep breath. Look at this. It's your own little man cave. Oh. Oh, honey, this is the nicest thing. It's beautiful. What did you do, raid the house? Of course. Where else would I get these things? <laughs> you love it? Oh, make me cry. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you. this is unbelievable. All my animals. I mean, look what she did. She took everything out of the house that she didn't like and put them here where I love them. And now I have my own office with all my animals. Great. This is perfect for me. I'm going to miss being around her with all the daily little things that she does, all the organization and all the stressful stuff that I probably had enough of. And now I'm just going to concentrate on the buy, sell, and trade. So it really, it's, it's fantastic. I love this place. So I'm out of your hair, huh? It's sad, but you know, it's necessary. I'm floored. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. I need to get back to work. Wow. My new office arrangement totally works for me. Um, I'm free now to basically just do exactly what I need to do to get business done, and we won't be stepping on each other's toes. Take you to dinner tonight. Sounds good. 
My reward. Oh, that's later. That got me. Ted's absolutely ecstatic with his own little man cave filled with all of his taxidermy that I took from our house. Um, you know, I'm truly pleased because I don't believe that Ted would have been um, all for this in the beginning. But once again, I'm right, and it's good to be right. I might not have thought this would be a very good idea, but now that I see it, it's awesome. I'm just, I'm at home. I'm, I'm very happy. Hi, sweetie. I'm tired. I'm going to go home. What about me? My motorcycle's at the port. How am I going to get home? You have 320 cars you can choose from, sweetie. I'd rather ride home with you. Oh, that's sweet. I'll meet you out back. It's beautiful. I've got no motorcycle, but at least I get to go home with a beautiful wife. I fought her the whole way, but as usual, Robin was right. The new facility is awesome. With all this space, I'm gonna need to buy, sell, and trade a whole lot more cars. Yep, 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 yep. Say